We have head coach Chris Lamonis, and he will take your questions. Coach, obviously uh, disappointed not to get the sweep, but overall, I mean, you, when you look back over the weekend, how pleased are you with the results? I just, the first two days I was happy with, and today we got beat. We just, uh, Oregon State outplayed us in every phase of the game, and we got beat. Um, you know, two out of three is good, but just, you know, um, when you lose on Sunday, it leaves a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth. The offense goes one, two, three, I think, in six of the nine innings. Just what, what was going wrong with the offense today? Well, I thought their guy pitched well, number one. They, they, they threw good arms at us all weekend. Um, but we weren't real sharp offensively either. So I think there's some at-bats. Uh, I felt like our timing was off a little bit. And like I said, is that their guy or is that us? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, but they pounded the zone and they made plays. And they made it very tough for us to get anything going. You get five innings out of Sarantola. And, and uh, it, it seemed like a couple of innings he had to get four outs there. I mean, how pleased were you with with his effort today, and what does he need to do to get better? I, I thought Eric was great. I mean, it's always, uh, you know, competing in the strike zone for Eric is the biggest thing, but I thought he had a great outing. We make a, we make a couple or don't make a couple plays behind him is really the key. Uh, give them a little bit of momentum, but I thought he pitched really good today. How good was it to get T.A. back in the lineup today? It's good. He's been close. I mean, yesterday he got in at bat, and it was, you know, the warm weather made a big difference yesterday. Um, but we wanted him to run around and see how it felt. He came in today, said he felt good. So he just needs some at-bats. He's been out a week, so getting back and getting some ABs are, are big for TA. But I think it's good for our lineup. It gives us balance. When Sarah told him get that curveball to drop in the zone like that, how lethal does that make him, especially as a Sunday guy? And, and his change-ups. You know, some days with the, if they put a lot of lefties in there, he'll be better with his change-up too. But being able to show something else for a strike is huge. And being able to show it, you know, near the zone is a, a good piece. He balanced a couple of them today, but I thought he threw some really good balls today too. Pitching plans for the midweek? <laughs> I got no clue right now. So um, we got some young guys you probably haven't seen before, but we just got to go in and look at who we're playing and, and what matches up, rights and lefts. We have some rights and lefts matchups there. So we'll look at it and probably put it out sometime tomorrow. Is Jack Egan available right now? No, he's not. So. Um, as far as areas of improvement, what are some of the biggest things you'll be emphasizing to the team moving forward? I think consistency. You know, we've been playing the last, uh, you know, I just I thought we've been a little inconsistent lately. I'd like us to be a little more consistent, just showing up and, and, and doing what we do. It feels like um, you know today was a little bit out of characteristic, just not playing good defense. Um, our pitching late wasn't very good, and then you know just the at bats. We just got to get some consistency to our lineup. And um, it's been like I said it yesterday. We'll we'll have a good at bat, good at bat, bad at bat. You know, trying to get guys to be in a little more even kill. Is there any update? Sorry, is there any update on JT Gaines status? Just overall, not as sharp today. Yeah, seemingly it's flat. I would call Offense, it flat. defense. Any reason for that? I don't know. If you're the coach, you got to look at it. I mean, um, but it's um, our group plays real consistent. So, um, but I just thought we were flat, and you can't be flat against a really good team. And that's what Oregon State showed that today. You can tip your hat to them to, you know, lose two games and come out in our environment and, and play the way they did because they played, they pitched well, they defended well, and then they, you know. Against Eric, it's pretty tough early, but late in the game, they, they had some great at bats. We talked about going against Lee, but how playing a team like Oregon State this early in the season, how valuable a measuring stick is that? I think it's good. I mean, it's a um, we're, we're facing a lot of really good arms right now. I mean, even the first weekend and this weekend, we faced two really good teams who defend, so there's not a lot. I guess yesterday's game, we had some freebies, but it feels like everything we're doing right now, we have to earn, which is good, and, and it'll, uh, it'll help us in the long run. And then uh, pitching wise, we just happen to compete. But I, th I think we've done a pretty good job there. With Justin Bernard, I know at the time you were probably feeling like maybe this would have got us going. Didn't right. quite do it. Though. Well, I thought when the double landed, you know, because they had, we kept saying in our dugout, well, there's going to ball, there's going to be a ball fall outside the shift because they had shifted and played us really well defensively today. And we thought, hey, here's a, there's going to be a ball that falls to make get this game going again, um, and it did. But unfortunately, we weren't able to hold them down. Well, he's, he's catching really good for us right now. I think that's the biggest piece. Um, <clears throat> he gets a lot of pitches framing in, in the zone. Um, and then I think we can get him going offensively a little bit more. I mean, he uh, he's had some good swings, but he's had some at-bats where I think he can jump on some pitches too. So um, the young guys are just being consistent and coming every day. They were Some of my young guys were really good last weekend and just okay this weekend. So uh, that's kind of what we got to teach them how to play the game at this level. How 
How much has he grown, I guess, since it's fall when it was hard here? Yeah, he's gotten a lot better, just in a lot of different ways, learning how to play the college game. Um, he, he's done a really – it's hard to catch as a freshman. He's doing a really good job.